I never meant to hurt you, Falor. I shake my head at him and head farther down the path. It occurs to me that I've gone a lot farther away from camp than I anticipated, which means a long walk back in the driving snow. Don't care. Snow is just more of a mild annoyance with the cooey keeping me warm, and I know how to find my way home. I can keep going a while longer. Will you talk to me? Arjal asks. What is there to talk about? I threw myself at you. You said no. It's the end of the story. I gesture at a distant cliff. I'm going to find more sweetweed. He grabs my arm when I turn away. I would like for you to ask me again. He says in a low voice, his somber eyes shining. This time, my answer will be different. I gape at him. Is he serious? But I can tell from his expression that he truly is. He has no idea that the last thing I feel for him right now is attraction. And yet he wants me to give him another shot? Is this because Daisy has decided to pounce on Ojek without resonance? Is he feeling desperate now? Is that it? He's desperate and decided I'm good enough once more? I try to wriggle out of his grip, but my poncho gets in the way. Look, Arjal, we weren't together and you made it clear that even if you were attracted to me, you want to wait for resonance. That's fine, but what makes you think I want to jump in the furs with you now? How do I know the moment your cooey decides to light up for someone else, I won't be booted out the door? I shake my head. That kills any sort of attraction I might have had. The Lady Boner is dead, all right? Lady Boner. It's just a phrase. What I'm saying is that you want to wait for your best shot, which means I'm always second best. And I'm not good with that. It tells me that you think you're not going to resonate to me, so sleeping with me would be a mistake. Arjal scoffs. I do not think I am going to resonate to Taia, if that is what you are worried over. Oh no, some part of you must, I point out, and try to delicately pull my arm out of his grasp again. Because you're still waiting for resonance. He shakes his head. Kiss me again, kiss me, and I will show you that I want you. No, I snort, absolutely not. A stubborn look crosses his face. Then I will kiss you. I will break both your hands, tall horn, if you touch her. The dark, angry snarl comes from down the path, and I'm shocked to see a wreck storming towards us. And he looks pissed. <laughs>